Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Saturday, 20th April 2024, Saturday of the third week of Eastertide. We know that Christ is truly risen from the dead. Have mercy on us, triumphant King. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Let us begin the celebration with the symbol of God's love for us, the sign of our salvation, the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. You are here because you have accepted the invitation of our Lord to partake in this Holy Eucharist where we shall encounter Him and receive Him as the bread of life. To bless and worthy, to partake in these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You are sent to the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may, through the love of the Spirit, ourselves rise to newness of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him, he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he said, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias. Come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man. What evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. 
But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. For steadfast is his kingdom, kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him says the Lord The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father has sent me, so I have life because of the Father. So to the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. My dear friends, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During these past days, we have been listening from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, speaking about the bread of life. You might be wondering, Father, bucket bread of life. No, Father, you was sharing. Yung may bata nagtanong, 
Bakit bread of life? Hindi ba pwedeng rice of life? Mabubuhay tayo ng walang bread. Pero rice ang mga Pilipino, hindi mabubuhay. No? Uh, nung, nasa, nung nasa Rome, no? yung mga Pilipino, mga Asian, babi-babi, halika-halika, may kanin, may rice, may rice. Especially yun, kasi ang rice, wala silang rice, yung rice nila may, may basa, no? igagan nun. No? Pero, hindi ako may rig sa rice, eh. so bread, bread person ako. So, anong ulam? Sa dinas. O sige. Ano? Ahabo na lang mamaya. No, I would prefer yung ulam doon sa, sa community. May nagtanong, no, bakit nga bread of life? Sabi ng pare, sa mapinanganak si Jesus? Sa Bethlehem. Ano yung isip ng Bethlehem? House of bread. Sabi ng bata, Father, ang Bethlehem ay bakery. Kinong bakery ang Bethlehem? No? Well, if you still remember when uh, the devil was tempting Jesus, ang sabi niya, change this stone into bread. Diba? He multiplied bread and fish. No? And he would always say bread because for them, Bread is something that they cannot live without. They don't have rice, but they cannot live without bread. No? That's why when the 5,000 people were, were following, was following Jesus, no? Sabe, uh, where can we buy bread? You see bread, ha? Huh? Where can we buy bread? No? E yung bata, lahat ng, ano, may baon yan, may baong bread yan. So, Jesus is just referring to himself as the most important thing in life. You cannot live without bread. That's why Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who eats this bread will live forever. And here you are, you know, a few moments, you'll be partaking the bread, the bread of life. But remember, when you partake of the bread, you become united. Huh? She said, no. Whoever eats my flesh remains in me and I in him. This is what we call indwelling. No? The saints would really believe this. When you receive Jesus, you become the tabernacle. This is the tabernacle where we keep the extra host, consecrated host. But you are the living tabernacle. When you go out, so you have Jesus in you. Question. Do people See, the people feel that Jesus is in you. Can you say that you reflect Jesus? You live like Jesus? You think like Jesus? You treat people like Jesus? There was these three uh, men rushing the train station in India. No, they were running because uh, they have to go home. The wives are waiting. So, in a hurry, they tumbled the, the small table of a little girl selling fruits, apples. So nagmamadali, they didn't mind the two. But the third one picked the apples that fell from the small table. No? And this little girl was blind. So the third man was helping him, was helping her. Okay? Tapos naglabas siya ng pera. Ito po, here is a little matcha money, baka may nasirang mga apples. No? And the little girl said, the blind, ha? sabi niya, are you Jesus? Why, 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 why? Why did you ask that? Because my mother said, no, mabait daw si Jesus. Matulungin daw si Jesus. Well, if you are kind, if you are respectful to other people. Kung ginagaling nyo, pati mga waitress, ginagaling nyo, pati mga katulong, mga kasambahay, then you might become Jesus. See, in the first reading, when Saul was asking, who are you? And Jesus said, I'm the one whom you are persecuting. Saul was persecuting the Christians. And Jesus said, I am the one you are persecuting. 
Ang sabi ni Jesus, Whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you did unto me. So the good that you do to others, you're doing it for the Lord. And the good that you refuse to do, you uh, refuse the, to do the good thing, you have refused it from the Lord. Let us ask the Lord, Lord, thank you for inviting us to this banquet, itong piging ng Panginoon. Thank you for offering yourself to be the bread of life. As we receive you, may you really be filled up with that spirit, with that grace to live like you. As you remain in my soul, may we reflect, may we share your love for me to the people whom we shall meet. Amen. The Father gives us His own Son as real food and real drink at this altar. We can ask Him for all our needs in Christ, the source of new life. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may grow in appreciation of the Eucharist as the bread of life by celebrating the sacrifice of the Mass with greater devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace through the constant reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick may strengthen in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may have the eternal life promised by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you gave us the body and blood of your Son as food and drink for our journey. Grant that through our union with him, we may be united with one another as members of his body. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, the full creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands and made become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. To we have this wine to offer to the divine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint and Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. With love and gratitude, let us now address God, our loving Father, the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us so each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, dear friends, our risen Lord Jesus Christ, the bread of life. He is the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Blessed was God to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh, uh-huh. 
kalor at pagsasawang walang handang para ating sa kapwa maging tinapalagay sa Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones. The Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We have encountered Jesus in this Holy Eucharist. Let us now go and encounter Jesus in all the people we shall meet this afternoon. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Sa dun bosko masaya? Sama, sama. Amen.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé